Hi, in this video, uh, I'm going to show you a graph and then answer the questions based on that graph, okay? So, a graph is given by this pink curve, okay? There's the x-axis, x-axis, and the y-axis. The function is decreasing and then increasing, maximum, minimum, and then x-intercepts, y-intercepts, all those things are asked here okay the first question is what is f when x is zero that is f at zero when x is zero f of x is basically zero that is y is zero right so the answer is zero all right and the second question is when x is six what is f so f of x at six is also zero okay how about f at 2? When x is positive 2, what is the value of y? That is f at 2. Or value of the function or value of y when x is 2 is negative 2. Okay? So this will be negative 2. And also when x is negative 2, the value of the y is positive 1. Or f of x is positive 1. Okay? So it is positive 1. So number Number three is f at three and f at negative one. Are those positive or negative? When x equals to three, the three is somewhere here, right? And the function is below x-axis, meaning the y value will be negative at that time, okay? So when x is three, then f of x is negative. You write f three is negative. And when x equals to negative one, negative one is somewhere here right at that time the function the graph is above x-axis meaning that the value of y is positive or f at negative one is positive okay find x number four is find x where f of x is zero so in how many points the function crosses x-axis that are the points where f of x is zero or y is zero for what values of x y is zero that is x equals to zero y is zero at x equals to four y is zero at x equals to six y is zero so you can write x equals to zero four and six these are the values of x where y or f of x is zero okay what is the domain of f so the domain is the possible values of x what are the values of all values of x so the smallest value of x is negative 4 and the highest value of x is positive 6 right so the domain is negative 4 through positive 6 and the function is defined at negative 4 the value for y is 2 and also defined at 6 so what you write is negative 4 through 6 that is the domain because the domain is all values of x there or in other words you can write like x such that negative 4 is less or equals to x is less or equals to 6. You can write this way too. Okay, these are alternative ways of writing the domain. How about the range? What are the all values of um, y's? Okay, so the, what is the smallest value of y? Smallest value of y is negative 2 because that is the lowest where the graph reaches and the highest value of y is 3 so how do you write that it will be negative 2 to 3 so this is the range or you can write y such that negative 2 is less or equals to y is less or equals to 3 you can write that way too okay what are the x intercepts so x intercepts are the points where the graph cross x-axis okay or touches x-axis so this is one x intercept this is the second this is the third there are three x intercepts okay that is zero comma zero this is first x intercept the second is four comma zero and third is six comma zero so in the graph the x intercepts are the points where the graph crosses or touches x-axis how about the y-intercept? In how many points the curve or the graph meets or cross at y-axis? That is only one. That is just 0, 0. Correct? And the last one is, and the number 9 is f of x is increasing in the interval. What is the function increasing? The function is increasing only 
starting from here to that point, right? So when you write the interval where the function is increasing or decreasing, you write the x values only, okay? For what values of x the function, the graph is increasing? What values of x the graph is increasing, okay? So here it is basically starting from x equals to 2 and the ending at x equals to 5, okay? This is the interval where the function is increasing. So when x is between 2 and 5, the function is increasing. All right. Number 10 is uh, fx is decreasing in the interval. In which interval fx is decreasing? fx is decreasing once here when x is between negative 4 and then positive 2. And also f of x is decreasing when x is 5 and between 5 and 6. Okay. So how do you write that? It will be negative 4 to positive 2. So starting from negative 4 to positive 2, fx, the graph is decreasing. And then combine with, together with uh, 5 through 6. When x is between 5 and 6, the function is decreasing again. Okay. Uh, number 11 is for what values of x does fx equals to 3? Meaning that for what values of x y equals to 3? So this is the only value of x where y is 3, right? So it can be written as that is x equals to 5. Let's do 12. For what values of x does fx equals to negative 2? So in how many points fx is negative 2? That means fx is y, okay? So this is the only point where y is negative 2. So how do you write that? When x equals to 2, then y or fx is negative 2. This is the only value of x. Number 13 is for what values of x does fx have maximum and minimum? So this is the maximum height that the graph has and this is the minimum height that the graph has, right? For how do you answer this then? For max, max at x equals to 5 because the this has the highest peak when x is 5 and then mean is minimum at x equals to 2. So this is how we answer the questions about a given graph. Thank you guys.